Hi guys, so today is day three and day three we're going to be talking about gut health and estrogen signaling in the gut and the ovaries. So this is something um, kind of new because I feel like gut health is something that um, recently just came up in the last like 10 years and if you're on the pill you might be wondering how is this linked to my gut health and how is my hormones affected, right? So everything is linked in the body and so the pill has been shown to disrupt the normal bacteria population in your gut. So in your gut, we have millions of uh, microorganisms and you know, they're termed as like bacteria. So you want the good bacteria and you want the bad bacteria and you want to have a balance, right? You don't want to have too much of the bad ones. And that is usually associated with the use of the pill. So studies have shown that a disrupted gut flora, it can really affect every single system in your body. And for example, it can lead to gut symptoms symptoms like bloating, um, excessive gas, diarrhea. Some people go on to develop like yeast overgrowth and a lot of overgrowth and that can also lead to vaginal infections. And so if you're on the pill and you tend to get a lot of discharge that's like not your normal discharge, like really go check it out and also think about how the pill can be affecting your gut. Another way that um, our gut can go on to lead to inf inflammation is that our lining, the, the intestinal lining is actually really smooth and there's a filter. So usually whenever we eat something, um, you know, it all gets filtered in and if the particles are too large or inflamed or like a foreigner, it's not going to go through the lining and it's going to be passed out, right, off our body. Um, and so when our gut flora is affected or if we have some kind of bacterial overgrowth, the lining can get perforated. We can get, you know, inflammation in the gut. We can develop some sort of food sensitivity, for example. And our immune system actually resides in the gut, two thirds of it, which is crazy. And so if our gut is inflamed, our immune system gets inflamed and it gets like hyper aware and hyper vigilant. And so we tend to... Um, experience symptoms of inflammation. For example, some of us have skin problems and if it get really bad, it will develop into flu, full-blown autoimmune disease. And this is something that we don't want. And so basically what it means is that the gut connection to the ovaries, it's called the estrobilome. And this is something that you don't really have to know. Um, but so basically estrogen signaling is being controlled in your gut as well not only from your brain but also in your gut and so this is something to be aware of because whatever we eat how we you know detoxify will actually really in, um, affect the estrogen signaling in our ovaries and if you think about it if you want to be pregnant you have to have a follicle that is releasing an egg and estrogen is a really big part of that so if we have disrupted si signaling in the beginning, right, it's going to play downhill and maybe, you know, some of us don't ovulate, we get PCOS. Um, there are very, various, various factors why uh, you may not be able to have a healthy egg being released. And so today I want to talk about improving estrogen clearance and also improving your gut health. We want to stay away from things that might help, uh, cause us to have a reaction. For example, like gluten or dairy, we, we want to identify food groups that would inflame our gut even more. We want to look at prebiotic food and also probiotic foods. Um, you know, for example, like fermented foods and like uh, green bananas, for example, those are really great in uh, prebiotics. Um, we, you might also want to take a probiotic just so you can improve your gut health further. Um, and so all of this can really help with the gut health aspect. What we also want to target is improving estrogen clearance. So you want to get rid of excess estrogen so that it's not going to be piling up and it's not going to be causing you all of these like PMS symptoms and um, disruptive signaling to the ovaries. And one way we're going to do that is um, to make sure you're hydrated for one, and also increase foods that can help your bowel movements to go. So for all those of you who are constipated, be mindful and be aware that this is not a good thing because toxins are being recirculated in your body and this can affect your gut, it can affect your circulation and everything else. So we really want to um, get a hold of that. 
And that is what I'm going to be talking about today in the Facebook group. I'm going to be talking about foods that can help to move the bowels along. It can help you to stay hydrated. Um, and so if you're looking for that, go check out the Facebook Live later on. And as usual, today's bonus is by Bridget Denner. So the part about removing estrogen clearance is not only through the body. We have to, um, you know, reduce the input, right, of toxins into our body. And so that also comes from beauty products or environmental toxins in our home. And so Bridget Denner is a toxin and hormone expert that I managed to partner with. I'm really happy about that. Um, and she's going to give you free uh, detox swaps. So it's going to be like a free download. And so you can download that and it's going to be free. Um, it's going to just give you ideas of how to swap um, certain products in your home, for example, or certain things in your home that is going to be healthier for you and your hormones. So definitely go check it out. Um, and as usual, there is a recap page at nourishmail.com slash optimizing fertility. Um, go check it out and review any content that you might not be familiar with. And I'll see you tomorrow.